My name is Fletcher Crossman and I first started thinking about doing this project a few years ago but uh, by coincidence I started teaching down at Adelson Hebrew Academy and that's when I first had a lot of contact with some Jewish children and then started realizing that some of them were the grandkids of um, Holocaust survivors. Well, my name is Joe Engel. I was born in Poland, not far from Warsaw, Zakhochim. And I, I was in the ghetto. In 1942, I, wore, I, uh, I went to Auschwitz. And I was there till 1945, till I was liberated by the Red Army, by the Soviet Union. As my mother was shot in the gap in 1943. And I was, she was about 100 of our people were pulled out from the line and moved them about 50 yards right behind the wall and they'd execute him for no reason. And then they came for it and picked up several youngsters. We had to pull the bodies, put gas on them. They gave us gas and they, want, they didn't want to leave any, any signs and we had to burn the bodies. And that was in the evening while the SS didn't watch. I pulled out my mother's corpse. And I hoped, well, maybe I can give a burial later on at night. And this SS man happened to be see it, and he came up to me and hit me with his had a whip, and he said, well, "God damn you! Put put the body back." I didn't want to tell this to my mother because he would have probably shot me too. I said, "Well, it's your mother, so you go with her." And at night, after they burned the bodies, I took the ashes and put him in a, I had a metal can and I buried it right there. And I was hoping maybe if I survive, I'll come back and find, maybe I'll give it a, a decent burial. But I was there four times. Every time I go there, I couldn't find it. And I noticed that my aunt had a number on her arm. And I said very casually, like most five, six year olds, Aunt Maria, why do you have somebody's phone number on your arm? And I remember the whole room fell quiet and literally you could hear the sound of somebody's hair rustling on the back of their collar. At 161.253, it amounts to 18. And 18 in Jewish and Hebrew means life. You had uh, often say lechayim, lechayim means life. First they came for the communists and I did not speak out because I was not a communist. Then they came for the socialists and I did not speak out because I was not a socialist. Then they came for the labor leaders and I did not speak out because I was not a labor leader. Then they came for the Jews and I did not speak out because I was not a Jew. Then they came for me and there was nobody left to speak out for me. 